Let's talk about a few tips for choosing a topic for your capstone project. I want to offer a few strategies to you as you embark on the process of choosing a topic for your capstone project. First, let your interests guide you. I think that you should pick a topic that you're really genuinely interested in. And this is because when you choose a topic that you have a strong, passionate interest in, that will really help to motivate you during the more challenging parts of the semester. It can really serve as some extra gas in the tank of your um, reserves to really kind of focus and study this topic. Think about and pay attention to the social world. Look at the news, uh, what your friends are talking about, what issues people are debating. What types of sociological questions need answering in relation to some of the different events and occurrences that are going about in the social world? Sometimes we can gather interesting and important research questions by paying attention to some of these issues. Think about the different groups and organizations that you belong to. Many of us are active in organizations. Um, I'm a professor at a university. Um, you're a student. You might belong to different um, groups at the university, uh, student groups or activity groups. You might work uh, a job outside of the university. Sometimes you can come up with some interesting research questions related to and sociological questions that are inspired by the work that you do for these groups and organizations. So that might be something else to think about as a way of kind of finding a topic to study. Lastly, but definitely not least important, think about how you can engage with past and current research. Look through the contents of some of the flagship sociology journals like the American Journal of Sociology, Social Problems or Social Forces. Every month or every few months, there's some really interesting research published in these journals. And oftentimes there are questions at the end of the papers um, that they raise, the authors raise for ideas for future research. And you could use these as potential inspiration for your own projects. I want to discuss with you three factors that should maybe go into, that might go into how you choose a research topic to study. The first is, the way that sociology is structured as a scientific discipline, your own personal interests, and also just some of the social problems that are occurring um, in our country and the world. The first is just the way that sociology is structured. As a discipline, sociology is structured into different sections. These range from economic sociology to mental health and medical sociology to race and ethnicity to social inequalities. These are all um, kind of areas of study within sociology. And if you go to the American Sociological Association website, you can get a sense of the different sections of sociology. And this might help you to narrow in on a particular topic for your capstone. Your choice of a topic might also be guided by personal interest. You might choose a topic not only because it's theoretically relevant, but also because it stimulates some deep interest that you have, or you have, might have a strong personal motivation to study a topic. I worked with a student last semester who was interested in school shootings, and she used this personal interest to develop a, a capstone research project. And she was interested in building upon the work of Catherine Newman, uh, who published a book called Rampage in 2004, in which she developed a theory of why school shootings occur. It was called the Constellation Theory, and it argued that there are five conditions for a particular type of school shooting, um, where a student uh, is motivated to plan, uh, has a planned attack on uh, the on site at a school in which they're targeting um, not just a single student, but often multiple students. And the theory identifies kind of some of the contributors to this, including social marginalization, psychological problems, uh, cultural scripts towards mass violence, uh, failure of various surveillance systems, and access to guns. And the student developed a, a capstone project question um, to really understand how well Newman's theory of school shootings characterizes some of the shootings that occurred more recently. Because her book was published in 2004, there have been a lot of shootings that have occurred since that point. And so this student was able to kind of 
develop a question to test how this theory accounted for some of the shootings that occur between 2012 and 2019. Your choice of a topic might also be guided by personal interest. Uh, a few semesters ago, I worked with a student who was interested in understanding the experience um, that college women have with abortion. Uh, more than half of women who have an abortion are in their 20s, and many of them are currently enrolled in college. But there's limited research about the reasoning, motivation, and experiences of these women who choose to abort in college. Uh, so this student developed some research questions to really understand the women's experience with abortion and how it kind of impacted their social and academic life. They also studied the social, economic, and other psychological barriers to receiving an abortion as a college student, and also what helps. Another student was interested in the process of coming out, uh, particularly in high school. And the student was interested in some of the negative thoughts and attitudes um, that are directed towards the LGBT community and how this might present barriers to coming out. And so the, the student really wanted developed research questions to study the experiences of high school students and some of the specific struggles that they battled when contemplating and experiencing coming out. Lastly, um, you might also develop a, a topic for your capstone project based on social problems. The focus and the development of social sciences are related to interests in basic problems of the human condition. One example of a social problem is the opioid epidemic, uh, which has killed uh, thousands of Americans every year due to drug overdose. One narrower uh, slice of this topic involves media coverage of the opioid epidemic. News organizations have really ramped up their media coverage of the opioid epidemic, and there's very few studies about the content and framing of this coverage, or how people are reacting to media coverage on social media. So I, I was interested in developing a few research questions to tackle this, um, particularly looking at the concept of, of framing of media coverage and how people, how news coverage was framing the issue and what the range of public reaction to the opioid epidemic was um, and how those reactions relate to framing. And lastly, I had a specific interest in understanding how addiction is represented and discussed when people are reacting to media coverage. One thing I want you to think about as you embark on selecting a topic for your capstone project is to think about where you could gather data from. Uh, think about how you can collect and analyze data to answer the research questions that you come up with. I have a broad um, concept of data. Data can include qualitative interviews, uh, which are in-depth conversations based on semi-structured questions that you might have with one of your respondents. It could be survey questions, which are more closed-ended, fixed responses uh, to questions that you develop beforehand or available data sources, public databases, information that you collect from social media. In the study, I'm going to give uh, four examples of data sources that the students uh, use for their projects in previous semesters. The student who was interested in school rampage shootings used a combination of data from the Center for Homeland Defense and Security. They maintain a school shooting database from which she was able to identify the specific rampage school shootings. She also paired this database with corroborating media reports that were published about each of the school shootings uh, so she could code for elements of Newman's theory. The student who was interested in the experience of abortion in college women conducted qualitative interviews with a small number of women who had that experience and used it to really explore in depth their experience. And this was similar for the student who was interested in studying coming out among LGBTQ identifying individuals. This student also conducted qualitative interviews about the coming out process and what it looks like. In my personal research, I used data from Facebook to study media coverage of the opioid epidemic. I gathered posted messages on the public facing web uh, Facebook pages of Ohio newspapers and the comments that were associated with these posts to understand not just the framing of media coverage, but how people were reacting to this coverage. 
So there's a little bit of a difference between what a topic is and what a research question is. A topic is a little bit broader. It might be a broad subject area, while a research question is a narrow slice of that larger topic. A research question is a specific problem that can be addressed with evidence. Um, so a research question deals with a, a very narrow and specific topic, and it's also something that's testable with empirical data. I have a few tips for you as you develop a research question. First, one place to start is to brainstorm narrower slices of your topic. You might think about if you're interested in a particular group of people um, within a larger uh, context. So say you're interested in healthcare. Maybe you might explore the experiences of um, paramedics or doctors in the emergency room. Uh, you know, you could think about if there's a narrower slice of that topic that you might be interested in. So to just kind of whittle it down into something uh, less broad and more narrow. Is there an aspect of the topic that you're considering? If you're studying healthcare professionals, might you be interested in burnout? or the experience of urban suffering um, and how uh, healthcare professionals deal with um, patients. Um, the, you might be more interested in how people interpret or feel about something, or um, are you interested in the outcomes of some experience? Uh, your question, can it feasibly be answered in a single semester? I really want to encourage you to choose something that is complex and interesting, but also it's feasible for you to tackle that within the course of a single semester. And also that if you're collecting um, information from people yourself, do, can you get a hold of that population? Do you need special access? Um, or is that population really difficult to get a hold of? These are some questions that I want you to think about as you develop a research question. So a few steps for writing a research question. Start just by identifying the general topic. That will help whittle down um, the kind of scope of potential questions a little bit. And then from there, you might do some preliminary research to see what's been done and try to narrow your focus. So you might go to Google Scholar, uh, the internet database, type in a few keywords related to your topic and see what some research on that topic has been conducted. And you might read and think about that work and ask yourself some open-ended how or why questions about the topic. Think about how to revise your research question to make it clear and effective. Can, how can you make it as clear as possible, as focused and specific enough to do a thorough study? And also, focused and specific is really good, but I also want you to choose something that has some intellectual depth, something that's complex, um, that requires research and analysis.